Hi, I'm Steve from Pentax UK. I'm the product coordinator. Um, here we have the Pentax 645D. It's a brand new uh, 40 million pixel um, medium format digital camera. The camera itself, you can see, is, a, is, is quite a sturdy, robust camera. It's got a magnesium alloy body. Uh, it's bolted onto a, a die-cast aluminium chassis, so it's very robust, um, rugged. Um, it's also fully weather sealed, as is the, 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 the 55 millimeter lens that's coming out with the camera. So you can take the camera out in the rain and, and not have the camera damaged. It gives that extra bit of confidence in the camera when you're taking shots out in the field. Um, the camera's um, got sort of lots and lots of exciting features. Um, one of the things about the camera is that it uh, uses the same 605 lens mount as seen previously on the 605 film cameras. So the, the lens is the same mount, and so anybody who's used or owns 645 film lenses um, will be able to use those on this camera. The autofocus works just the same as you'd expect, and so um, you get full operation with the autofocus 645 lenses. The camera itself um, is, has a 3-inch um, 921,000 pixel screen, so you can view on the screen very clearly uh, the pictures that you that you take, and obviously through the menus as well. Um, it has a sorry, the camera has a twin SD card slot, uh, allows you to record either simultaneously in different formats, or you know, using one card and then the other for a larger capacity, or to just record duplicate um, files on both cards, so you can have you know, security of uh, com or confidence in the camera that you're going to get the pictures that you want. The camera's also got. Um, a lot of features that you'd expect uh, and uh, remember from the old film 645 cameras. Uh, it's got a studio flash or X-Sync flash as we call it. There's the mirror up um, option so you can lock the mirror to help prevent um, uh, vibrations from the camera as the, as the mirror's moving. Uh, the camera has lots of features that you'd recognise from say the K7. Uh, in the menus, um, the, the menu layout is very similar. You have uh, you know, clear visibility of what, can, what you've got set on the camera. But also by pressing the info button, uh, you can have a quick switch through to the main features that you may want to change on the camera. So there's very quick access to it. Then if you want to go further into the menus, just by pressing the menu button, you then have the, the full range of all the menu settings that you may want to change. There's also lots of controls um, directly on the camera body, so you can have quick, easy, direct access to a lot of the, fu the functions that you will want. So things like the, the, the custom image, where you can set the, the characteristic of how the picture is going to how the camera is going to respond to the subject. That's quick access from this button. So your flash controls are access there for use with the uh, AF540, AF360, or the ring flash that we've got. Um, there's the you can access drive your drive mode directly from this button. And the, what that does is it means that you very easily while you're using the camera you have direct access to all the main controls that you would want. You also see on the side of the camera um, that there's these buttons here show give you access to uh, the memory card one and memory card two. So you can very easily, while you're shooting, um, direct and um, have direct access and change each memory card um, to be just as you want it to be. Uh, the camera has um, uh, also has 77 segment metering, it's the same uh, metering that has been used in the K7 camera. What that does, it means that you're going to get a very good metering system, so when you take your exposure, it's not going to be fooled by bright highlights in the image or dark spots. You're going to get the best kind of a, a metering you can from the camera, and then you can control that and use that to take the pictures as you want. Obviously, once you've, taken, once you've got your meter readings, you then want to use that and turn that into an, into an exposure setting. And to do that, we have the, the exposure dials on the top. The modes that you'd expect is the program mode, you also have the sensitivity uh, variable mode, where you control the ISO of the camera and the shutter speed and the aperture will vary accordingly, uh, depending on what the metering says. Uh, you've got your time variable, so your, your, shut, your shutter priority, the aperture priority, and then there's also the shutter and aperture priority, where you set the shutter speed and the aperture, and the camera will automatically set the ISO so that you will get uh, the correct exposure for your subject. All of the modes have what we call a, the hyper function, so in the program mode, just by using the, the front or the rear wheel dial, uh, you can then um, turn those and pop straight into either uh, shutter priority or aperture priority just by using the dial. Uh, you don't have to change the modes while you're, while you're shooting. And then if you get a bit lost and you decide you want to go back just to the program line, 
It's, it's very easy. Just press the green button, and that will pop you straight back to the, the program settings. Uh, so it's, it's very straightforward and very quick to, to change as you want, as you want, and your subject may change. Uh, the camera's also got um, a, digital a digital level feature. So if I just push the, uh, this button, you'll see on the camera that the level changes as I, as I tilt the camera, which works in, in different planes as well, so it affects the orientation of the camera. As I tilt it up and down, also left to right, and it gives you all the, diff the different variations uh, on the, the level of the camera. Um, one thing uh, about the camera is... Uh, obviously, it's 40 million pixels. It's lots of data to handle, um, so you, it will it takes pictures uh, very well, but not overly fast. So 1.1 frames per second. For most people who are using this type of camera, that will be more than enough. So thank you for listening.